Welcome back to this month's Spotlight and Edmonds Real Estate TV show. I'm Wayne Purser, a local realtor with Cobble Banker Bain, downtown Edmonds, just footsteps from the fountain. This month we have a special guest, Kelly Meldrum with State Farm Insurance. We'll also have our real estate weather report, and we'll also have a question from one of our viewers. And right now we have our second edition or second quarter market update from Cobble Banker Bain talking about the Puget Sound area, the southwest part of Washington and also the Portland area. It'll give you information on the current listings, sales, and inventory. And so we'll have a special offer at the end of the show. Right now, I'd like to introduce my special guest, Kelly Meldrum. Welcome. Thank you, Wayne, Great. for having me on the show. Great. So tell us where you're from. I am actually from Cincinnati, Ohio. Okay. And we moved out here um, when I was in management with State Farm in 1998. And um, at that time, I was an agency field executive, and I asked to go back to personal production in 2004. So I took over an agency um, at Five Corners in Edmonds, and I have six experienced, licensed team members in my agency, um, one of which is my husband, which is uh -huh. wonderful. And I have been with State Farm for 31 years now. Right, fabulous. Well, the first time I met you was when you moved here and met you at the Chamber. Uh, Edmonds Chamber of Commerce meeting. So we, we go back over a decade. So uh, so why don't you tell me a little bit about insurance for buyers. When buyers have a loan, they need to get a, a, re, a binder. Binder, thank you. Insurance <laughs> binder. So uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about that? Sure. Um, mortgage companies are requesting insurance binders so they can see how much the house is insured for and that, of course, it has liability as well as what the premium is because a lot of times the mortgage company is going to escrow the insurance as part of that payment, mortgage payment. So they want to have that information prior to closing. And if there is a mortgage on a home, it's definitely it's required that it has to have a binder be proven that there is insurance in force prior to closing. Right, and that would be whether it's a home, condominium, or townhome? That is correct, yes. Anything that has a mortgage, the mortgage company is going to require that. And they have their own special mortgage clause, which typically is the name of the mortgage and its successors and or assigns as their interest mm -hmm. may appear. They're specific wording. They're very specific on what they want. And we actually can get those in a very short time frame, I mean, even to the extent of the same day if mm -hmm. need be. Okay. And uh, in the marketplace is about 32% first-time home buyers. What's a benefit for a home buyer to, to purchase a home? Well, um, the equity, as you know, mm -hmm. that they can build in over time is extremely beneficial mm -hmm. for them um, as they you know, work their way into their retirement years not to maybe have a payment at all on the place that they're actually living. And having good home insurance is a very important part of knowing that their home is going to be there at that time. Right, but they also with a vehicles and a home? Yeah, actually we have the biggest probably multiplying discounts in the industry. So having a home and auto insurance with State Farm allows them to have a much bigger discount. And then if a personal liability umbrella is actually purchased in addition to that, which covers them for a minimum of a million dollars of liability over and above all of the things that they own, um, it actually even expands that discount even greater. Right. So, uh, yeah, having homeowner's insurance is important because a lot of people don't realize when you buy a home, you start purchasing more things for the house. That is correct. And so uh, collections and uh, boats and motorcycles that are inside the house that will protect in case there's a, a fire. And how do you replace all that? Absolutely. Okay. Go ahead. We take our time in going through and reviewing the options that are available other than just covering the dwelling and the personal property so that people know that they can get those other things insured. There's also options on homeowners called backup sewers and drains, which we're one of the only companies that offers that, as well as earthquake. Again, we're also one of only a couple companies that offer a true earthquake policy. Um, identity theft restoration coverage is another good coverage so that a person can get their identity um, protected and have that on their homeowner's policy for a very small fee of $25 a year. Right. Okay. Fabulous. And then uh, as we're wrapping up things here, what's the number one thing that most homeowners forget about doing? Interestingly, they forget to tell us that they've maybe built an addition onto their home or now they have an in-ground swimming pool. 
these things, when they, anytime they modify their home, they need to update that and make sure that we're aware of it so we can cover them the way they should be covered in the event that there's a loss that we can take mm -hmm. care of that. Right, because there are people do call you and surprise, something's <laughs> changed. Yes, yes. exactly. Okay, great. So how can people contact you? Um, well, my phone number is 425-778-0050. Um, I have a website of www.kellymeldrum.com. And we're actually right at Five Corners, 8226 212th Street Southwest, right here in Edmonds. All right. Lived in Edmonds for quite a long time <laughs> and love this town. Super. Great. Well, thank you for being my special guest. Again, I want to thank Kelly Meldrum of State Farm Insurance for being my special guest. And now we'll go off to our Spotlight in Edmonds Real Estate Weather Report. Welcome back to Spotlight in Edmonds Real Estate Weather Report for Edmonds 020 zip code. We currently have 45 listings and in June of 2016 we had 22 sales for a temperature of about 80 degrees. That'll give us a days on market about 60 days but people are going to say Wayne things are selling much quicker in Edmonds of the 020 within 60 days. We got a couple things. We have a couple million dollar homes that are overpriced pushing the days on market longer. Also in the $500,000, sellers are realizing they can't be greedy because prices are going up and we're in a hot market. So with that, it skews the days on market. As I've said time and time again, if you price your house correctly, it will sell within 7 to 14 days. Moving on to Edmonds 026 zip code, we currently have 91 listings, 75 sold in June for a weather temperature of 87 degrees, 35 days. Mount Lake Terrace, Mill Creek, Briar, Muckle Teal, and Linwood, 291 current listings with 285 sales of a weather temperature of 99 degrees. Up there, the marketplace is within a week. Things are selling like hotcakes. Uh, their inventory has gone up, but now people are back from vacations and looking to purchase homes. Shoreline still hasn't changed. 94 current listings, 82 sold, 100 degrees. It's still sizzling in Shoreline and will continue because the population people are moving up and buying in the Shoreline area because they can't find what they want in downtown Seattle. Um, that wraps up this portion of Spotlight Edmonds Real Estate Weather Report. We'll now move on to a question from one of our viewers. Wayne, should I have an inspection when I buy a home? That's a great question about inspections. Myself and my company, Cowell Banker Bain, we always recommend that the buyer has an inspection and also a neighborhood review because you need to do a thorough investigation of the property you're purchasing. What's going on with this marketplace right now with things moving so fast and seven days or less, some properties, is that they're doing pre-inspections. So when the seller allows five or six people to do a pre-inspection, only one person wins. So therefore, you may have to do that to five, six homes, spending $500 each time, several thousands of dollars, to purchase a home that you're wanting. Uh, that makes frustrations for the buyers and they're starting to waive their inspection without doing an investigation or an inspection of the home, which can be dangerous. The day they move in, they're going to find out about their home. Not a place I like to have my buyers in when they purchase a home. So thorough investigation, inspection, neighborhood review is a must for my clientele. That wraps up this portion of Spotlight and Edmonds Real Estate TV show. We look forward to seeing you next month. I have a special offer for you. This is Caldwell Banker Bain's second quarter market update for 2016. It will tell you about the Puget Sound area, Southwest Washington, and also the Portland area. Caldwell Banker Bain has 31 offices from Bellingham and of course all the way down the I-5 corridor to Portland. This will give you information on current inventory, days on market, and the average sale price. If you'd like your own copy, digital copy, email me at waynepurser at cbbain.com.